Look at how far Polo G's dreadlocks have came. And they've actually came a lot further. Look how long his hair is right here. At the very beginning, Polo G's dreads were semi-freeform dreads. However, he now has them maintained at the root. Why do I feel like artificial intelligence wrote that? Are you tired of using products that don't give you the results you want for your dreadlocks? Look no further than greatlocks.com. Our specially formulated products are designed to nourish and maintain your healthy dreadlocks, giving you the strong and vibrant locks you've always wanted. Don't settle for less. Choose greatlocks.com for all of your dreadlock needs. At the start of his hair journey, we could see his afro with twisted ends, which would later mat and form into dreads. He then transitioned into having his dreads maintained at the root and styled. Now that's actually very true. Let's see how he started and how he maintained and how he grew his hair so fast to where it is now. Polo G started his dreadlocks. Yo, why does this website keep using my videos with that? Yo, should I like sue them or should I like, here's my PayPal? I have no clue. This is an old video, by the way. But at the beginning, he had starter dreads and they call it a thick afro with twisted ends. And that's actually, that's actually a pretty good explanation. Looking at this image, his hair does look like a thick afro with twisted ends. And this is actually a very popular hairstyle even to this day. This was back in 2018 and I feel like it's circling back around and becoming even more popular now. Moving on, we've seen him starting to maintain his hair. He did two strand twists to kind of allow the locks to lock up a little bit quicker. And I would highly recommend all of you guys, if you want your hair to lock up fast and style, do the two strand twist method. It makes a big difference. The two strand twist, signature style. The two strand twist may be the most popular dreadlock style and one we can continuously see him do. Just like we see right here, he has a two strand twist and his dreadlocks to me mimic how Chief Keef's locks looked. Or I guess how Chief Keef's locks look because Chief Keef does the two strand twist as well. And he does have traditional locks. And one thing you'll notice about Polo G is that although he started out with that freeform look, his hair is extremely well maintained now. We see the two strand twist right here. And you guys can agree with me that it, that it does have similarities with Chief Keef slocks. Here we go again. And man, he just has so much hang time. And I almost think that he does have a high top fade. And with him having a high top fade, that just goes to show that his hair is extremely long now. I'm um, considering that he did start his locks back in 2018. It does make sense to where his hair looks like it's about maybe 12 to 15 inches long. We see even right here, he has a two strand twist in and it's already passing his shoulders. And these are pretty updated images. I mean, just look at how much growth he has and his sections look really good. And I think the best way to get good sections is to do the two strand twist hairstyle or even just do braids, whether that's cornrows or box braids. It just makes a huge difference and allows the hair to lock up a lot faster. And man, this is the hairstyle that I think, in my opinion, is the best hairstyle and it is the barrel twist. Barrel twist is a little complicated, but I feel like once you figure it out, you can literally do it yourself. And one thing I like about the hair type he has with him having a 4C hair type, you just get a really crisp lineup and a nice fade and it just looks very clean. But I mean, look at how complex this hairstyle looks, but it's actually quite easy it just takes a little bit of practice. Of course, you can go to a salon and have them do it. And realistically, if you go to a salon, you're going to spend anywhere from $75 to $150. Realistically, even if they travel out to you, that's probably the max you're going to spend is $150, which really isn't that bad to get a really awesome hairstyle that you can wear for potentially a month. And with all that, I mean, we just see so much hair growth and there's not really anything that he did. It's just that he takes care of his hair. I feel like Polo G has the healthiest locks out of a lot of celebrities. And I feel like that does come from him never bleaching the hair, never dyeing the hair and just doing simple hairstyles. Nothing too crazy. He doesn't keep his hair too strand twisted or in a barrel twist or any other hairstyle for an extreme long amount of time. It just allows it to do its own thing after doing a hairstyle. And that's what I want to encourage you guys. Do a stress and release. Don't ever keep your hair in a hairstyle for an extreme long amount of time. And don't do a very high tension hairstyle. Although all these hairstyles can be high tension with pulling at the roots, do it to where it's not that tight at the roots. And if you're going to a salon or a loctician, tell them, don't do it so tight at the roots. I want to protect my scalp. And if they say, no, you need to do it tight, just make sure and be adamant to tell them that not to do it too tight at the scalp. And if they don't appreciate your request, just find a new loctician. Trust me, it's that serious to protect your scalp. Now let's see how accurate this website is. A common question that comes up is does Polo G have dreads or twists? This is always kind of a silly question. And they put, simply put, he has both. To achieve this look, he's taking two dreads and wrapping them around each other. That's called two strand twist. I did not know that was a common question about him. Now we're getting into different hairstyles, half tied up. Yeah, this actually was a little popular, especially in the beginning stages of his locks, or I would say that first year he would do like a little tied up to the side, kind of like Juice World. And I would say that this is a little bit more popular with Polo G or more remembered with Polo G. But I remember Juice World did it a little bit. They said that it reminds of Busta Rhymes. And yeah, I would agree because Busta Rhymes did have like more of an animated, you know, style of dreads. Now we got the twist out, which is very popular. And that is doing the two strand twist and then doing twist out to make the hair curly. And yeah, we see Polo G do that quite often. Obviously, if you do the two strand twist, 
twist, you're gonna do a twist out and the hair is gonna be curly. One thing that I noticed about Polo G's locks is that they're extremely thick and that's because of his hair type being a 4C. But that is a little update on Polo G's locks and they're looking really good, y'all. He takes really good care of his locks and they that's why they look so good. So I would encourage you guys, take care of your hair, keep it healthy, keep your scalp healthy. That's the most important thing. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Are you tired of using harsh chemicals on your dreadlocks? Try greatlocks.com dreadlock products. Our products are made with nourishing ingredients to keep your dreadlocks healthy and strong. Say goodbye to the damaged dreadlocks and hello to the healthy locks with greatlocks.com dreadlock products.